Kyocera SGS showcasing their great range of tooling solutions at EMO 2019. You're looking at tooling for aerospace, motorsport, defense as examples, but loads of different industries. What I want to do though, there's some fantastic new products, hot off the press. These are patented for the aerospace industry. Barry, I think what's simple is just talk me through them, please. Okay, come on, Colin. Uh, yeah, so relating to what we've got on display here, um, obviously you've seen the large fan disc. So yeah, can't miss it, the big Rolls-Royce fan in yes, background. That's it, so we've actually developed a solution for actually producing the fan disc slots that the fan blades are held in. Um, we offer solutions as well as the tooling. So as you can see here, there is an example of a slightly smaller scale than obviously what's behind us. Uh, and it's showing stages of what we develop. Um, we've got a larger tool here, which is another uh, slightly smaller aircraft than the fan disc behind us. But they're all modular and they all relate to one another. Okay, now again, just to clarify, solid carbide, carbide tooling. Yes, it's solid tungsten carbide tooling. And probably can't quote specifics, but cycle time reduction if you're going to use this tool? Oh, a significant savings. Yeah. Um, not only in cycle time, but in cost savings of the actual tooling as well. Okay. Again, that comes back to SGS providing a total customer solution. Yes, yes. Okay. So, what about the next tool? Because this is, this is an interesting looking tool. Again, this is a, a, it came from offering a solution to, for a customer's need in reducing uh, or cycle time reduction and helping production. So. Typically, if you were producing some of these holes, you would have to use a drill, a mill, maybe a front chamfer tool or countersink tool. What we've developed here is tools that combine all of that in one operation. It's not necessarily new for the automotive industry with inserts, but in a small solid carbide tool held to high tolerance, it really is. Okay, so we just had a close up of this one here. What's actually going on down, down the length of this tool? Right, then, please? So this is one we're actually demonstrating on the machine today. Uh, this has got a drilling portion, a milling portion, a front chamfer and a back chamfer. So it's all combined in one, cycle time only takes me under like 30 seconds. And it's one tool, one holder, frees up space in your machine. So it's, it's more than just a tool. Okay, mm. and again, in terms of changing over tooling, it's just simple things like that, cycle time savings. Oh yeah, massive savings. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've had a quick count up here, seven flutes, what's going on here? Right, seven flute. We've uh, been developing tooling with customers for specific needs because the advent of high-speed machining, everyone wants to run faster. Um, to get those faster feed rates, it's better to have more cutting edges. So this is hot off the press. It's not actually a, in the portfolio yet. This is a brand new tool that we've developed with customers. So we're, we're supplying it to customers, and it will be launched very soon. This is sort of our pre-launch of it. Okay. Mm. And just looking at these here, I'm no noticing here, what's this grooving down the sides here? Right, so the longer, when you're using longer cutting edges, you would have a very long chip length. This causes problem with machine tool people. Um, it will block the conveyor system up. So on this tool here, you have very fine chip breaker notches down the edge. That significantly reduces the length of the chip. Um, and ironically, the actual finish that's supplied with this, you think it would like have lots of grooves in it, but the finish is near perfect as well. Brilliant. Barry, great insight into products that are not yet, well, just coming to market very, very soon. And these ones specifically patented for the aerospace, but numerous industries, SGS, Kyocera, if you need a solution, essentially get a hold of you guys and go down to the technical center in Wokingham. Yes, thank you very much, Colin. Barry, thank you.